This bibliography of biology is a list of notable works, organized by subdiscipline, on the subject of biology. Biology is a natural science concerned with the study of life and living organisms, including their structure, function, growth, origin, evolution, distribution, and taxonomy. Biology is a vast subject containing many subdivisions, topics, and disciplines. Subdisciplines of biology are recognized on the basis of the scale at which organisms are studied and the methods used to study them. Anatomy This section contains a list of works in anatomy, the study of the structure of living things. Ibn Sina 1025. The Canon of Medicine. Vesalius, Andreas, 1543. De humani corporis fabrica libri septum on the fabric of the human body in seven books, a landmark publication in anatomy and medicine. It is the 400th birthday of the beautiful book which graces the lectern in front of me, the most artistic book and one of the most illuminating in the history of medicine. As Ozier remarked, 1543 is a starred year in the history of science. In it appeared the two great works which inaugurated modern science, Copernicus' Revolutions of the Heavenly Bodies, which gave us a rational and abiding explanation of the workings of the macrocosm, the great universe, and Vesalius Fabrica, which for the first time fully, and for the first time accurately, portrayed not only the structure but to some extent also the workings of the body of man, that mysterious spiritual animal which the Middle Ages called the microcosm or little universe, Gray, Henry Henry Gray's Anatomy of the Human Body, first published under the title Gray's Anatomy, descriptive and surgical in Great Britain in 1858, and the following year in the United States. Gray died after the publication of the 1862nd edition, at the age of 34, but his book was continued by others. In 2008, for the 150th anniversary of the first edition, the 40th edition was released. Topic biophysics This section is a list of works on biophysics, an interdisciplinary science that uses the methods of physical science to study biological systems. Galvani, Luigi De viribus electricitatis in motu musculari commentarius. Bologna, Accademia del Cienza. English translation, 1955. Translated by Margaret Glover Foley. Commentary on the effects of electricity on muscular motion. Isis. 46 3, 305 and N 309. DOI 10.1086, 348,425. Galvani's researches into stimulating muscles with electricity. His theory of an animal electric fluid was later disproved by Alessandro Volta, but stimulated research into bioelectricity. Botany This section is a list of works on botany, the scientific study of plant life. Elpel, Thomas Botany in a Day, The Patterns Method of Plant Identification. Pony, Montana, Hops Press, LLC. ISBN 978-1-892784-15-5, emphasizes plant family characteristics to facilitate plant identification. Used as a text at many universities and herbal schools. <laughs> Cell biology This section contains a list of works on cell biology, the study of cells, their physiological properties, their structure, the organelles they contain, interactions with their environment, their life cycle, division and death. Hook, Robert Micrographia, or, Some Physiological Descriptions of Minute Bodies Made by Magnifying Glasses First ed. J. Martin and J. Allistry. Ecology 
This section contains a list of works in ecology, the scientific study of the relations that living organisms have with respect to each other and their natural environment. Warming, Eugenius. Plantesamfund, Grundtrack af den Ökologisk Plantegeografie in Danish. 335 pp. Copenhagen, P.G. Philipson's Forlag. Published in English as 1909. Oecology of Plants, An Introduction to the Study of Plant Communities, English edition. Oxford, Clarendon Press, turned descriptive faunistic, floristic biogeography into a new discipline, ecology. Based on his botanical investigations from tropics to tundra, Warming's aimed to explain how similar environmental challenges drought, flooding, cold, salt, herbivory etc. were solved by plants in similar ways everywhere in the world, despite the different descent of species on different continents, Gores, Georgi I. Francevich The Struggle for Existence Baltimore, Williams and Wilkins, Gores formulated his competitive exclusion principle, through experiments involving Paramisha. The principle holds that no two species can co-exist for long if they have to compete for highly similar resources. This outcome has two preconditions, one, panmixis of individuals of competing species, two, the environment is homogeneous in time and space. These conditions may be met by aquatic microorganisms grown under laboratory conditions. However, in most real-world biotic communities, both conditions are likely to be violated from moderately to strongly. Due to its simplicity and intuitiveness, Gauze's competitive exclusion principle has had a great impact on subsequent ecological thinking. Topic evolutionary biology This section contains a list of works on evolution, the change across successive generations in the heritable characteristics of biological populations. Georges-Louis Leclerc, Comte de Buffon Histoire naturelle, until the publication of this encyclopedia much of the European scientific community thought that all animals were created by God about 6,000 years ago. Not only did this 44-volume encyclopedia contain all descriptive biological knowledge of its time, it offered a new theory. One hundred years before Darwin, Buffon claimed that man and ape might have a common ancestor. His work also had a significant impact on ecology. It is no exaggeration to claim that virtually all the well known writers of the Enlightenment, and even of later generations, in France as well as in other European countries were Buffonians, either directly or indirectly. Lamarck, Jean Baptiste. Philosophie zoologique au exposition des considerations relatives à l'histoire naturelle des animaux. Dentu and the author. English translation, Lamarck, Jean-Baptiste Pierre Antoine de Monet. 2001. Zoological Philosophy, an exposition with regard to the natural history of animals. Nabu Press. ISBN 978-1-178-26555-2. Darwin, Charles, Wallace, Alfred Russell. 1858. On the tendency of species to form varieties, and on the perpetuation of varieties and species by natural means of selection. Zoological Journal of the Linnean Society, 346 and N 50. DOI, 10.1111 j.1096 3642 1858.tb025000. X. In September 1838, Charles Darwin conceived his theory of natural selection as the cause of evolution, then, as well as developing his career as a naturalist, worked privately on finding evidence and answering possible objections, circulating essays written in 1842 and 1844 to his friends. Wallace, who was corresponding with Darwin from Borneo, arrived independently at the same theory. He wrote his paper on the tendency of varieties to depart indefinitely from the original type in February 1858 and sent it to Darwin, who received it on 18 June 1858 and passed it to Lyle and Hooker. They arranged for a joint publication of Wallace's paper and an extract from Darwin's 1844 essay. This was read to the Linnean Society of London on the 1st of July 1858 and printed in the Zoological Journal of the Linnean Society 346-50. 
It had little impact at the time, but spurred Darwin to write an abstract of the Big Book Natural Selection he was then working on. This condensed version was published in November 1859 as On the Origin of Species, Darwin, Charles. 1859. On the Origin of Species. London, John Murray, online, 6th edition. Text the Origin of Species is one of the hallmark works of biology. In this shortened abstract of his intended big book on natural selection, Darwin details his theory that organisms gradually evolve through a process of natural selection, and this process leads to the formation of new species. It was first published on November 24, 1859 and the initial print run was oversubscribed by booksellers at Murray's autumn sale the day before. Darwin presents a theory of natural selection that is in most aspects identical to the theories now accepted by scientists. He carefully argues out this theory by presenting accumulated scientific evidence from his voyage on the Beagle in the 1830s, and from his continuing studies up to the date of publication. His studies continued with the book being revised accordingly. The most extensive revisions were the sixth and final edition. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection, with its tree-like model of branching common descent, has become the unifying theory of the life sciences. The theory explains the diversity of living organisms and their adaptation to the environment. It makes sense of the geologic record, biogeography, parallels in embryonic development, biological homologies, vestigiality, cladistics, phylogenetics, and other fields, with unrivaled explanatory power. It has also become essential to applied sciences such as medicine and agriculture. Darwin, Charles. The Descent of Man, and Selection in Relation to Sex. John Murray. Fisher, Ronald. The Genetical Theory of Natural Selection. Oxford University Press. In the preface, Fisher considers some general points, including that there must be an understanding of natural selection distinct from that of evolution, and that the then recent advances in the field of genetics, see history of genetics now allowed this. In the first chapter, Fisher considers the nature of inheritance, rejecting blending inheritance in favor of particulate inheritance. The second chapter introduces Fisher's fundamental theorem of natural selection. The third considers the evolution of dominance, which Fisher believed was strongly influenced by modifiers. The last five chapters include Fisher's more idiosyncratic views on eugenics. One of the founding works of population genetics, Dobzhansky, Theodosius Genetics and the Origin of Species. With an introduction by Stephen J. Gould reprint ed. New York, Columbia University Press. ISBN 978-0-231-05475-1. Sociobiology, The New Synthesis. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Belknap Press. Wilson introduced the term sociobiology as an attempt to explain the evolutionary mechanics behind social behaviors such as altruism, aggression, and nurturance. Wilson's book sparked one of the great scientific controversies in biology of the 20th century. Gould, Stephen J. 1977. Ontogeny and Phylogeny. Harvard University Press. ISBN 0-674-63940-5, critically revisits Haeckel's idea that ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. Gould presents heterochrony as a concept that allows us to describe the majority of developmental processes in evolution. This book played a significant role at the time by bringing the evolutionary biology community back to examine developmental biology, ignored for many years. Pinker, Stephen. How the Mind Works. New York, Norton. ISBN 0 393 31848 6, a synthesis of many of the ideas of evolutionary psychology. This field posits that there are insights into the way that the mind works if you view our cognitive capabilities as the adaptive result of evolution. Synthesizes the work of many evolutionary psychologists and provides a comprehensive starting point for inquiries into, exactly as the title states, how the mind works. 
Topic genetics This section contains a list of works on genetics, the science of genes, heredity, and variation in living organisms. Mendel, Gregor Versuch über Pflanzen hybriden. Verhandlungen des Naturforschenden Vereins Brunn. Published in English as Experiments on Plant Hybridization. Journal of the Royal Horticultural Society, 26 to 1 and n 30. 1901, online version the result of years spent studying genetic traits in pea plants. Mendel compared seven discrete traits. Through experimentation, Mendel discovered that one inheritable trait would invariably be dominant to its recessive alternative. This model, later known as Mendelian inheritance or Mendelian genetics, provided an alternative to blending inheritance, which was the prevailing theory at the time. Fisher, Ronald. The correlation between relatives on the supposition of Mendelian inheritance. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. 52. pp. 399 and n 433. DOI 10.1017 per seconds 0080456800012163. Schrödinger, Erwin. 1944. What is life? The Physical Aspects of the Living Cell, 2001 reprint ed. Cambridge, Cambridge Univ. Press. ISBN 0-521-42708-8, based on a series of public lectures delivered at Trinity College, Dublin. Schrödinger's lecture focused on one important question, how can the events in space and time which take place within the spatial boundary of a living organism be accounted for by physics and chemistry? He introduced the idea of an aperiodic crystal that contained genetic information in its configuration of covalent chemical bonds. In the 1950s, Schrödinger's idea of an aperiodic crystal stimulated enthusiasm for discovering the genetic molecule. Francis Crick, co-discoverer of the structure of DNA, credited Schrödinger's book with presenting an early theoretical description of how the storage of genetic information would work, and acknowledged the book as a source of inspiration for his initial research. Pauling, Linus, Harvey A. Atano, S. J. Singer, Ibbett C. Wells, 1949. Sickle cell anemia: a molecular disease. Science. 110, 2865, 543 and n 548. Bibcode 1949 Sci. 1910 53p. DOI 10.1126 Science.110.2865.543. PMID 15395398. Crick, Francis, Watson, James D. 1953. Molecular Structure of Nucleic Acids, a Structure for Deoxyribose Nucleic Acid. Nature. 171 4356, 737 and n 738. Bibcode, 1953 Nature.171, 737W. DOI 10.1038/171737A0 PMID 13054692 Online version original text Topic Microbiology This section contains a list of publications on microbiology Microbiology is the study of microorganisms, which are defined as any microscopic organism that comprises either a single cell unicellular, cell clusters or no cell at all a cellular. Topic Molecular biology This section contains a list of works on molecular biology, the study of the molecular basis of biological activity. Crick, Francis, Watson, James D. Molecular Structure of Nucleic Acids, a Structure for Deoxyribose Nucleic Acid. Nature. 171 4356, 737 and n 738. Bibcode, 1953Nature.171, 737W. 
DOI 10.1038/171737A0. PMID 13054692. Online version original text described a molecular structure for DNA that was consistent with X-ray diffraction data and had implications for the nature of inheritance. Physiology This section contains a list of works on physiology, the science of the function of living systems. This includes how organisms, organ systems, organs, cells and biomolecules carry out the chemical or physical functions that exist in a living system. Harvey, William Exercitatio anatomica de motu cordis et sanguinis in animalibus. English translation, Harvey, William On the motion of the heart and blood in animals. Translated by Robert Willis. Buffalo, New York, Prometheus Books. ISBN 978-0-87975-854-7. Taxonomy This section contains a list of works on taxonomy, the practice and science of classification or the result of it. Linnaeus, Carolus Systema naturae per regna tria naturae, secundum classes, ordines, genera, species, cum characteribus, differentes, synonymous, locis two volumes in Latin, online access 10th ed. Stockholm, Laurentius Salvius, classified animals using a hierarchical system with five levels, kingdom, class, order, genus and species. The official starting point of zoological nomenclature, Linnaeus, Carolus Species Plantarum The Species of Plants, a two-volume work, going through many editions ever expanding, listing all plants then known, made accessible by an ordering in artificial classes and orders, and giving every listed species a two-part name. With this book anybody, by counting the male and female parts present in a flower, could get to a listing of the genera the plant in question belongs to. The system of binomial nomenclature that bears his name effectively began with this work. <laughs> Zoology This section contains a list of works on zoology, the study of the animal kingdom, including the structure, embryology, evolution, classification, habits, and distribution of all animals, both living and extinct. Pliny. Naturalis Historia, c. 77–79 Encyclopedia of Nature. It included many areas that are not considered to be part of nature sciences today, from geography, botany, zoology to painting. The encyclopedia was also novel with respect to its structure. It was the first to use references, table of contents and tables of animal characteristics, White, Gilbert 1813. The natural history and antiquities of Selborne, observations on birds and many other aspects of the natural world that White observed near where he lived. See also List of zoology journals Outline of biology